So what we're going to show you here is how to create um, an application based on a web service. Now this web service returns a collection of departments and each department has employees. So this is a simple Java class annotated as a web service. We deployed it and ran it so you actually have a WSDL file pointing to this um, class. And what we're going to do is just copy this with the location and go and create an application based on it. So in our model project we are going to select new and create a new um, web service data control. You can find this under the web service section web service data control. You give it a name, it can be anything you want to and just paste the with the location, click next. You can see all the methods that the web service exposes, selects the one that you want to work with, click next again. Here for example you can specify authentication if you have any username and password that you need to pass to the web service. And let's click finish just to create the data control. So JDeveloper basically interrogates the WSDL structure and based on it create a bunch of XML files describing the data control and in the data control palette you'll see the methods any parameters that need to be passed to them and the results also. Alright, so now let's go over and uh, create a JSPX page to display the results of the web service inside the JSF page. So we got our get my department methods and you can see that it returns a value. In the return you can actually see the columns that describes the department as well as the employees which is a collection inside the department object. So we can actually drag the return value into the page and drop it as a tree. And so we'll choose the ADF tree component and this will bring up our binding editor allowing us to define the binding um, of the tree component. So we're going to specify which fields we actually want to show in each node. Then we're going to add another level to the tree, the level of employees. And again specify that we want to see both columns and click OK. Okay, so we got our little tree structure. We can also, for example, add a button that will actually invoke the web service if we want to re-invoke it later on. So just drag and drop the method and drop it as a button. Save everything and next thing you want to do is probably run your page. The page deploys to the integrated web logic server, shows up inside your browser, and fetches the information from your web service and you can see it as a tree. So the first level is department. If you expand it, you'll see the employees underneath it. Again, if you want to look specifically at the class, you can see that we have the My Departments collection, which is of type department. Let me show you how I actually populated this. I just created um, departments and employees objects and then added employees to each department.